Sparks is getting an SOS from the Columbine British Registry. She's breaking up in a gale and she is yelling for help. Here are the coordinates. I got you. What's the Columbine's position? Right here. We'd have a good three hour run to reach her, even at flank speed. Any other ships in this area? None. We're four hours closer than any of them. Uh, I'd inform the Columbine we're proceeding to flank speed to a rescue. Oh, I don't think we can run that long at flank, Admiral. We've been having that trouble with the reactor. It wouldn't stand the strain. We'll have to accept that risk. Order a change, of course. How can I give that order? It could cost us the ship. Uh, I understand your position, Lee, but uh, you don't have all the facts. A Columbine is not an ordinary ship. She's a research vessel on a highly confidential mission. And she's carrying half a dozen of the finest scientific minds in the world. Now, we can't lose those men, Lee. Even if we have to risk seed you to save them. Engine room. All ahead, flank. Full ahead. All ahead, flank. Aye, sir. standard just at least for an hour no we we can't we'll continue to run at flank aye aye sir in the reactor room corridor. What is it, Kowalski? Sir, there's a malfunction in the reactor. It's like the pile's running wild. Skipper, it's going critical. It's gonna blow. Kowalski, clear out of the area. Seal off the compartment. Quick! Aye, aye, sir. Engine room. Slow the standard. Let's 
Skipper, this is Chief Sharkey. I've got a damage report. Let's have it, Chief. No structural damage to the reactor that can't be patched, but we've got to shut down the pile. Well, why? That'd mean a loss of at least four hours. What's the purpose of shutting down the pile? Well, sir, there's a loose valve inside the pile itself. Engineering says it'll go critical again if it's not closed. And to fix the valve, they have to shut down the pile. They say there's no other way, sir. Now, don't let them shut down the pile. I know how to handle this. Tell engineering to stand by for further orders. Aye, aye, sir. If you're thinking of going into that pile yourself, forget it. Orders or no orders, I can't let you expose yourself to that much radiation. I've got to try to get the valve closed. You won't be able to see what you're doing. Oh, I know my way around inside that pile blindfolded. You'd have to. Yeah, I'll tell Shark I'm on the way. <laughs> still receiving distress calls from the Columbine. Her master wants to know if they can expect help soon. Tell Columbine we're doing our best. I don't know yet how soon we can reach them. Aye, sir. It's a valve on the right side of the output line. I can reach it with a number four wrench. All right, let's have a number four. You know, that radiation is awful high in there, and that, that gear may not be good enough. I mean, can't you do it any other way without sticking your hand inside? I wish I could. Uh, keep the men well back. We don't want to risk unnecessary exposure. All right, everybody. Move. shouldn't have any more trouble with the pile. Resume course at flank speed. How much radiation did you take? <sighs> Enough. But it was, uh, it was only on my right hand. Well, uh, you, you better have Doc take a look at it. Look, I intend to. Now, will you get us underway, Lee? We have to reach that ship. Aye, sir. You'd better go to sick bay with that, sir. You better get this place cleaned up. Aye, sir. Columbine's here in this area, about uh, two hours away. Uh -huh. What's the latest word from the captain? Well, they're still shipping water, but uh, he thinks he can stay afloat as long as uh, three more hours. Uh, that's cutting it pretty fine, but uh, I think we can make it. So do I. We've got them on the radar now. Would you like to come down to the control room and take a look? No, no, I don't think so. There's nothing I can do there. And, uh, I'm, uh, I'm suddenly tired. The radiation? No, no, it's, it's not uh, radiation sickness. It's just, uh, just weariness. Well, um, why don't you lie down and take a rest? I'll let you know as soon as we approach the Columbine. Yeah, I think I will, thanks.
Chuck it. Chuck it. Yes, Admiral? Will you come to my cabin, please? As soon as possible. Aye, aye, sir. I, I just don't understand. I said you're to lock me in here. And don't let me out again for at least an hour. Is, is that clear? No, sir, it isn't. Perhaps this will help you understand. When, uh, when did that happen, sir? A few moments ago. Now, will you lock me in here? Aye, sir. You have to tell this to no one. I want your word on it. You... You have it, sir. known for the symptoms of the disease. We don't know what we're dealing with. He seems to keep changing from human being to werewolf and back again. Is it happening to me? The virus. Look what I did to him. Turned him into a... into a beast. Then killed him. Is it happening to me? Has, has it already begun? No. No. Please. just received this message from the captain of the Columbine. Very well. Oh, uh, Kowalski. Yes, sir? Take this to the Admiral. He's in his quarters. Tell him I have a plan and I want to talk to him about it. Aye, aye, sir. Ski, hold it. Yeah, what's the matter? Uh, look, I'll, I'll take that message to the Admiral. I'm sorry, Sharky. The skipper ordered me to do it. Hey, wait a minute. Wait. Hey, Kowalski. Kowalski! Hold it. Listen, kid. Give me the message. Now, what's wrong with you, Chief? <laughs> you want to get me in trouble? I want to keep you out of trouble. Now, I got my orders, too, so uh, hand over the piece of paper. Come now, on. what orders have you got? Well, uh, the Admiral's not feeling too well, and he's lying down. He doesn't want to be disturbed, so come on. Handle Look, it. I can't help that. The skipper said, give him the message, and I'm going to do it. And I say you're not. Hand it over. Okay. But I hope you know what you're doing.
Well, what's keeping the Admiral? I don't know, sir. Oh, when you gave him the message, what did he say? I didn't give it to him, sir. What? Well, that is not personally, sir. Chief Sharkey took it to the cabin. I ordered you to do it. I know, sir, and uh, I wanted to, but uh, he said his order superseded mine. Chief? <laughs> Who gave you permission to countermand a direct order of mine? Sir? You know what I'm talking about. Who gave you permission? Well, sir, the, uh, the Admiral wasn't feeling too well, and I, uh, I just didn't want him to be disturbed. You just didn't want him to be disturbed? Yes, sir. And so you took it on yourself to keep Kowalski from obeying my orders, right? Yes, sir. Very well. You're relieved of all further duties. Confine yourself to your cabin until further notice. That's all. Aye, aye, sir. Admiral, this is Crane. Admiral, can you hear me? Admiral, can you hear me? Is everything all right? Lee, Mr. Nelson, were you calling me? Yes, I was. Are you all right? Of course I am. Good. I'll be right up. I want to talk to you. Jake! I told you to go to your quarters. What are you doing here? No, uh... No explanation, sir. What seems to be the trouble? Chief Sharkey countermanded a direct order of mine. When I confined him to his quarters, he ignored me and came here instead. Hmm. Did you give the captain an explanation, Chief? No, sir. Well, I don't think Sharkey's going to give you any more trouble. Forget it. Forget outright insubordination? Just forget any discipline on the ship? <laughs> well, I don't think it's going to be as drastic as all that. Admiral, I'm in command here. And no subordinate will decide whether or not my messages are to be delivered. Lee, please. Please forget it. Aye, sir. All right, Chief, get back to work. Thanks, sir. Any further orders? No. <laughs> oh, no, no orders. Let's uh, get down to the control room and you give me that message of yours. Come on. There's the Columbine. And here we are. We've been closing fast. Not fast enough. The captain's message indicated that he might not be able to keep his ship afloat long enough for us to reach him. That's when I thought of an alternate plan. Go on. While we continue at flank speed, you could take off in the flying sum. I could reach them from here in a matter of minutes. What then? You could hover about the Columbine and rescue at least 15 people at a time. By making a number of trips, you can save nearly everybody aboard before we even got there. What's the weather like up there? Well, um, that's the problem. Gale winds, high seas, and near zero visibility. The risks are high. Still, it might be the only way. How soon can we get started? We can get the flying set ready in 15 minutes. All right, go ahead. I'll be in sick bay. Oh. Well, what are you going to sick bay for? Well, I want Doc to give me a quick checkup. Nothing to worry about. find a thing, Admiral. Of course, it'd be a lot easier if I knew what I was looking for. You remember we had, uh, we had an encounter with a rabies-like virus. Remember it? I've been trying to forget it, trying to convince myself that it never happened. Oh, it happened, all right. 
Uh, I, I was wondering about the effectiveness of, the, of that vaccine you gave me. Well, I wouldn't worry about it. As long as it worked, forget it. But if it didn't work permanently. Now, look here. Have you had a recurrence of the symptoms? <laughs> Why do you ask that? Because if you had, we'd really be in trouble. Why, another shot of the vaccine would take care of it, wouldn't it? No, it wouldn't. Another attack would indicate that the vaccine is of no further use. And with no vaccine... Then uh, um, another attack might be fatal. Well, not might, Admiral. It would be fatal. Now, these, uh, these questions... I hope they're hypothetical. Just the inquiring scientific mind looking for an answer. <laughs> of course. Just curiosity, that's all. Uh, thanks, Doc. Flying subs ready whenever you give the order to launch. Thanks, Clark. Yes, sir. Admiral, this is Crane. Yes, what is it, Lee? The flying sub's ready now. Well, let me right there. Just went down there like he was. Skipper, no! questions in the field of medicine. I found that each individual case is distinctively unique. An educated guess, that's all I'm after. Well, 
Subject to factors we know nothing about, I'd have to say that there's no possibility of a favorable outcome. In other words, the, uh, the patient would die. In my mind, there's no doubt of it. I see. Skipper, this is Kowalski. Go ahead, Kowalski. The uh, fire detail is secured, sir. Is the flying sub operable? I'm afraid not, sir. The uh, structural ribs and the beams are badly damaged. It'll take, uh, oh, a couple of days to fix it up. Very well. Report to the chief and join the search party. Aye, aye, sir. Search party, Captain? Yes, the, uh, the Admiral's had a relapse. We're searching the ship for him now. Not that viral infection. I'm afraid so. I'm sorry to hear that. Doug, there's one thing more I've got to know. If one of my men is injured trying to capture the Admiral, will he, uh, will he get the same infection? If there's a break in the skin, yes. With what result? Exactly as fatal. Thanks. Not yet, but uh, we'll find him. All right. Now, I want you to warn your men not to take any chances. The slightest scratch could give them the same infection the Admiral has. I understand, sir. Oh, Skipper, I've been wondering. It's, uh, it's not hopeless with the Admiral, is it? Doc thinks so. But do you, sir? I don't want to, as long as he's alive. There's still a chance. It's the way I look at it, sir. Oh, and uh, about those scratches, I'll, uh, I'll pass the word along to the men. just heard about the Admiral. Is it true that he's going through that mutation business? Yeah. I'm afraid so. Then there's not much chance of his beating it. According to Doc, there's no chance. I see. Look, what can I do to help? No, not much, Jim. The search parties are all organized. Oh, uh, uh, one thing. Try to keep this from the duty watch in the control room. I, uh, just assume they didn't, uh, know about all this until it's resolved, one way or the other. I understand. Good luck. Thanks. Yes, 
Yes, sir. Did you hit him? Yes, sir. So did I, Skipper, and it didn't even slow him up. He just turned around and ran right over me like I wasn't there. Well, you heard it all. Did you ever get run over by a truck? Is there any break in the skin anywhere? No, sir, I don't. I don't think so. Yeah, good. I'll tell you right now, sir, the stun gun isn't going to work. The next guy may not be so lucky. Isn't there some other way we can trap him, sir? None that I know of. We can't ask the men to defend themselves with weapons that don't work. Well, I have ammo, huh? There's no other way. Pass the word. Does that mean shoot to kill, Skipper? Only if there's no other way. Now get started. Aye, aye, sir. somewhere in this area. You two guys cover that corridor. What about these compartments? Maybe ducking one of them. All right, I'll take this one. You take the circuitry off. Right. This is Chief Sharkey. Go ahead, Chief. We got him, sir. He's locked in the circuitry room. Circuitry room? That's the heart of the ship. If he starts breaking up anything in there, we've all had it. Yes, sir. Flooding from frame 37 to frame 54. Engineering, are the main pumps working? Affirmative. If we seal off the flooded compartments, can you give us enough buoyancy to raise us off the bottom? If we can get into the circuitry room, we may be able to do it. Yes, sir. All right, then stand by. I'll see that you get in. Aye, aye, sir. Chief Sharkey, report. This is, this is Chief Sharkey, sir. I want you to go into the circuitry room and clear it for the work party. Well, that, that'll mean using guns, sir. It has to be done on the double. I don't care what you have to do. Understood? Aye, aye, sir. Does that mean we go in there blazing away with these? You heard the orders. Chief, no matter what he looks like, that's the Admiral in there. Now, do we just go in there and kill him? We follow orders. Can't you get that through your thick skull? 
Okay. Okay. Maybe, maybe we can catch him by surprise. Roger, Chief. He's out cold. He may be dead for all we know. All right, but don't take any chances. I'll cover you. All right. He's still breathing. All right, careful now. You don't know what he might do. Turn him over. <laughs> what happened? We've had an accident. We're lying on the bottom. Well, how bad was it? Pretty bad. Engineering's working on it now. There's a chance we'll get buoyancy to get to the surface. You're not telling me everything. What happened to me? Oh, don't worry about it now. Doc says uh, you should get as much rest as possible. Doc says. You know what's been happening to me, don't you? You're going to be all right. And you know that I'm not going to be all right. You should have killed me when you had the opportunity, but now... I... You should have told me about it right away. I, I, I couldn't tell you. You had your hands full enough without worrying about whether I was going to have an attack in the next minute or not. Now listen, Admiral. It won't happen again. We'll lick this thing. I, I don't know how yet, but we'll do it. No. 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 There's only one way this can end. There's only one sensible course to take. I want you to keep me locked up in here so I can't do any more harm. Give me a word that you won't let me out under any circumstances. Agreed? All right. Excuse me. Come in. Admiral, are you okay now? No, fine, fine. That's, uh, that sure is a relief, sir. Oh, Skipper, here's a uh, message for you from the uh, captain of the Columbine. Columbine, I almost forgot. What's the condition? Gale letting up, pumps holding, estimate all well for another few hours at most. Could be worse. Well, if we can make repairs, we could still reach her in time. We'll give it a try. I'll see how engineering's making out. Aren't you coming, sir? I'm staying here locked in. Hi, sir. Engineering, give me a final inspection report. The ship is seaworthy, Captain, provided you don't exceed standard speed and stay at a depth above 200 feet. Very well. Navigation, come to 150 feet. All ahead standard. All ahead standard, depth 150. Aye, sir.
in here, practically no damage at all. Now, you actually saw him, huh, Chief? Who? Oh, the Admiral. Yeah, sure, I saw him. He's okay again. Yeah, but does that mean he's going to be all right from now on? Sure he is. What do you think? And how come he's locked in his cabin? Well, because... How am I supposed to know? Look, give those guys a hand, will you? Okay, Burnside. I'll take over. the diving bell. Admiral, you're supposed to be in your cabin. You're supposed to carry out orders. Yes, sir. Kowalski. Prepare the diving bell for immediate launch. Right, Chief. Skipper, this is Sparks. Go ahead, Sparks. We have a signal from the captain of the carrier Argon. Argon? What does he want? He reports his position 100 miles southeast of the Columbine. He's sending out copters to take off the men. Very well. Admiral, this is Crane. I've got some good news about the Columbine. Admiral? Admiral, do you read me? Prepare to lower weight, Chief. How deep, sir? All the way to the bottom. But Admiral... Admiral Nelson. I tried to ask him about it, but he was no mood. Call it up on the devil. Reverse that drum. Come on. All right, sir. get you back. That's why, that's why I slipped it. Don't you understand? There's no reason to try to save me. For what? Chief, when you prepared the bell for diving, with the usual ballast weights included. Yes, sir. I'm going to activate the remote ballast release. That'll bring the bell up like a cork. The bends will kill the admiral. Not if we depressurize the bell before we take him off. Yes, sir. K-1-1, 
can't see a thing through that port. It's too fogged up. That's because we're depressurizing. How much longer, Chief? Another 13 seconds, sir. All right, men. In a few seconds, I'm going to open the hatch. I don't know what we're going to find, but uh, be prepared for the worst. If it's not the Admiral in there, and the charges, open fire. And keep firing until it's dead. Time's up, sir. Clean as a hound's tooth. Not a sign of trouble. I don't understand it. Well, I think maybe I do. See, the sudden change of pressure when the bell popped to the surface must have created a large amount of nitrogen in my bloodstream. Well, that has to be the antidote for the virus, nitrogen. I agree. It's the only possible explanation. Well, I don't mind telling you, I am very much relieved. You're relieved. Believe me, Doc, that goes double for the whole crew.